Hello YouTube, it's good to see you guys. I'm here today to share with you my thoughts on the 1911. This particular one is made by Rock Island Armory. They make uh, 1911s in the Philippines. Um, the 1911 was designed by a firearms genius. His name was John Moses Browning. Uh, he had the army using semi-auto style pistols rather than revolvers in the early 1900s, probably around 1912, this thing was already uh, serving in our armed forces. That's how ahead of his time John Moses Browning was. Uh, he also designed many other firearms that the military has used for decades. However, uh, we're going to go ahead, that's another video. We're going to go ahead and stick to the 1911 for this video. Uh, the Rock Island Armory, they make a good uh, budget pistol. It's a, a lot of bang for the buck. This particular one was around $400. You can still pick them around, pick them up around $400 today. It's uh, November 2017. You can pick up these guns, you know, in the neighborhood of 400 bucks. Um, that's very low for a 1911. Uh, you know, the high end 1911s from Colt and whatnot, they're, you know, $1,000 and up. Uh, you can find some other budget 1911s for around $700, um, but you know, a thousand to you know even more, you know, three, four, five thousand dollars, you can find 1911s. Uh, this one is really good. I haven't really broken it in yet. I've gotten around 250 rounds through it so far, and uh, I've had a couple of failures to feed. It makes me wonder if just putting a a stiffer spring would have it feeding better. But I'm going to go ahead and get 500 rounds through it and then, you know, we'll see if I get any more failures. And when I'm talking about failures, I'm talking about like two failures and 250 rounds. So, I mean, that's still pretty good. Uh, the one I have is chambered in 45 ACP. Uh, the military, when they had this uh, firearm, they went ahead and, and took it in 45 ACP. That was the, the round that the military used from... Uh, say 1911 all the way to 1985 was some version or another of the 1911 pistol with a 45 ACP chambering. Um, I really like this firearm. I have no complaints. The trigger is great. Uh, this particular one is a GI model, meaning that uh, no frills. It's got, um, you know, a basic beaver tail, not much of a beaver tail, um, you know, basically it's, it's how the, the military issued this pistol to the troops for the most part, and um, it's not too bad, I mean, some people complain that these GI models uh, chew them up a little bit, but that's okay, what I like to do with mine is I give it a grip, if you have beefy hands, this could be a problem for you here the hammer and the, the beaver tail. What I like to do to mitigate the beating I take on the web of my fingers is I bring this thumb down. That's how I grip the firearm and it helps me out considerably. Uh, helps me out a lot. It's a single action only firearm. Single action only firearm, a uh, very light trigger, very crisp trigger. Um, it's got a grip safety. That, the reason it has a grip safety is because the military didn't want to be riding horses with a single action trigger without a grip safety. So it's got a grip safety, it's got a thumb safety. Um, and I go ahead and grip it down that way. Uh, won't give your hand much of a beating. Uh, these are seven or eight plus one. I like to use um, what are the Italian OE manufacturer, um, I'm trying to remember their name now. Well, there's an Italian company that makes good mags for these uh, eight rounders. So I, I you know, eight plus one. Uh, although uh, you can still find seven round magazines, uh, I like to go eight plus one with a. Uh, Man, I'm trying to remember the name of these uh, magazines. Hmm. It'll come to me. Uh, 
Mechgar magazines, guys. That's what I like to use. Mechgar magazines. They're very good. They come in a, for all kinds of pistols. They manufacture OE for many guns. And, uh... I mean, it, they've worked well for me in this thing. If you guys ever buy yourselves a 1911, you're going to see how a lot of the things that we see on many of our modern firearms started right here on the 1911. Um, the takedown, a lot of uh, a lot of firearms copy the takedown lever. Um, you're going to notice a lot of little things when you when you use other firearms. You're going to see that uh, you know a lot. They borrowed a lot from Mr. Browning. Let me tell you. Um, all right, guys, it's been a pleasure. I'm glad you guys uh, came to watch me today. I appreciate it. Uh, until next time, have a good one, YouTube.